Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another sports broadcast hosted by the Hornet Sports Network. My name is Daquan Lee, and it is Champions Night here at the Dunn Oliver Academy on the campus of Alabama State University. This is the second game of our doubleheader. Your Hornets will be taking on the Bulldogs of Alabama A&M. It is the last of the two matchups between these two in-conference foes as Alabama State looks to make it three games in a row following a successful and very provocative four-game win streak against UAPB, Mississippi Valley State, Texas Southern, and Prairie View A&M. As we get set to tap, as we get set to tip it off here at the Don Oliver Academy, we'll have to take a look at the last time these two teams met. Now that was back in January, January the 18th. Alabama State came away with a victory there. It was a 65-56 win in favor of Alabama State. Now let's take a look at the starters as we tip off here for both teams for Alabama A&M. Cameron Tucker, Garrett Hicks. Cameron Alford, E.J. Williams, and Evan Wiley make up the starting five for the Bulldogs. And for Alabama State, D.J. Heath, Leon Daniels, Toby Awusho, Ricardo Day, and Brandon Battle are your starting five for your Hornets. Eight seconds remaining for the Hornets on their first possession of the ball game. D.J. Heath, he's going to try a three-pointer, and he wets it out to start this game. DJ Heath for the Hornets averages almost five a game as Alabama State almost comes away with a turnover. He averages about five, five points a game. Shoots pretty well from three-point land. Shoots 36% from deep. His weakness thus far in his game has been his free throw percentage. Shoots just under 60%. And I'm down low. That'll be number 15, E.J. Williams, 6'10", center, 275, freshman out of Middleton, Ohio. He will be at the free throw line to shoot two. That foul call going to go on number five, Toby Owusho of the Hornets, his first of the afternoon. Williams cashes in on the first from two from the charity strike. Williams splits the free throws, one of two, and he also breaks the seal for Alabama A&M. That drive to the basket leads to an offensive rebound. Toby Wusho from the corner, way off the mark. And the outlet by Williams will lead to the, to the easy layup. That one by Cameron Tucker, 6'1 guard, a freshman out of Birmingham, Alabama. So with that layup on the fast break, we found ourselves all knotted up at three apiece in the early goings of this first half. DJ Heath off the screen, kicks it out. That three-pointer... Oh, you can count that one. Leon Daniels from three-point land. That's his first three-pointer of the afternoon. Leon Daniels, second in scoring for Alabama State. He lead, He follows behind Toby Owusho. He averages just under, not, under 10 a game at 9.5. On the drive, the floater is up and in. Cameron Alford with his first field goal of the afternoon. Heath in trouble, kicks it out. And a very good pass by Toby leads to the foul call down low. Brandon Battle will be at the free throw line to shoot a pair of free throws. Shooting 
Brandon Battle off on the first free throw. A free throw is not one of Alabama State's strong suits. Battle on this season shoots just 53%. So Brandon Battle splits the pair, and the Hornets have a 6-5 advantage with 17 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Alabama State applying a little bit of pressure in the half court. Aaron pass almost gets away from him. Alabama State in a zone. Awusho going to get called for a second foul early. Crowd doesn't like that whistle. Head coach Lewis Jackson. He's going to be forced to make an early substitution. A.J. Farrar is getting ready to check in for the first time of the afternoon. Toby Awusho understandably will have a seat. Fifteen on the shot clock for the Bulldogs. They go down low again. The big fella, he kicks it out. Three-pointer by Alfred off the mark. Evan Wiley is going to get called. For the push in the back, over the back call against Alabama A&M. It'll be his first of the afternoon. Day down low. Working the post, loses the handle, and it'll be a turnover for Alabama State. Just their first of the evening. Elbow jumper, well short. And Alabama State will take over on possession. DJ Heath in trouble, and he turns it right back over. One-on-one -on -one fast break, and AJ Farrar smacks it off the backboard. Alabama State in transition. Lip is no good, but the follow is. Leon Daniels will get the credit for that offensive put back. That'll give him five in the early goings. We're going to have a foul call on the floor. Brandon Battle is going to pick up a foul. He throws his arms up. He doesn't agree with it. And we'll have a timeout. Stay tuned to the Hornet Sports Network where we return. Alabama State has an early 9-5 advantage. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States and Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas. Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. Folks, welcome back to the early goings of the first half. Alabama State has the 9-5 advantage against the A&M Bulldogs. Leon Daniels has come away as the early scorer for the Hornets. He has five points. He's 2 of 2 from the floor. He's also knocked down a three-pointer, as has DJ Heath. Alabama shooting Alabama State 
shooting 60% from the floor. Alabama A&M shooting 40% from the floor. Both teams have split their free throws, shooting 50% apiece. apiece. And it's Alabama A&M possession following the foul on Brandon Battle, his first. A&M working the perimeter. They want to get it down low to the big fella, and they do. Williams double teamed, finds the cutter. And I don't think he got that shot clock. I don't think he got that off in time, but officials would look to review it. A basket by Tucker, Cameron Tucker. His second field goal of the afternoon. A.J. Farrar, too strong on the three-pointer. And Tucker comes away with the loose ball. Pick and roll, kicks it out. Three-pointer, too strong. That shot off the mark by Garrett Hicks. Day on the drive, draws the foul, count the basket, and one. Ricardo Day strong to the basket. Ricardo Day will have his first attempt at the free throw line this evening. On the year, a sub 60% free throw shooter, good for 59. Good for 59% from the free throw line, but he does convert on the three-point opportunity. Checking in the game, checking into the game for the first time this afternoon, Jacoby Ross. Ross has struggled to find his shot this season. Typically a pretty good shooter from deep. He's shooting just 28% on this season. Officials, I believe they call an illegal screen on the play. Turnover, A&M Bulldogs. I'm mistaken, they call a foul on the floor. That foul will go against Jalen Johnson, his first. He's just checked into the game. I believe officials are getting ready to review that earlier layup attempt by Cameron Tucker. I'm almost positive he didn't get that foul shot off in time. We'll look at the replay. Shot clock at two. A ball clearly still in his hands as the shot clock expires. The officials will wave that off. So as officials look to see and confirm that Cameron Tucker did not get that shot off in time, they'll eventually wipe that basket, and Alabama State will have a seven-point advantage. Now, I could be wrong, but officials could also be reviewing something else as well. Head coach Lewis Jackson wanting an, wanting an explanation from the officials on the stoppage of play. But coming out of the official review, it'll be Alabama State basketball. Jacoby Ross on the inbound. Officials still have yet to uh, remove the basket. 
Pointers go down low. Tyrese Robinson. Pretty little move. And he gets the jump hook to fall. That's Robinson's first basket of the afternoon. Robinson, a big body down low. He's also able to step out and hit that three-pointer if you leave him open. Cameron off the screen. He gets it down low. And the officials will call a travel. Jalen Johnson's second turnover of the afternoon. Getting set to check in for the Hornets. Jeremy Hamilton will come in. Hornets want to go down low. Tyrese Robinson, they think he has a mismatch. They get it to him, and the pass is off the mark. And that will be Alabama A&M basketball. Jeremy Hamilton a little loose on the entry pass. Hornets have their largest lead of the afternoon. It's 14-7 with 13 per minute. 13 minutes remaining in this first half. Parham, he's off on the three-pointer. Daniels off to the races. Shot is no good, but he will be at the free throw line to shoot a pair of free throws. These will be Heath's. First attempts from the charity stripe. Heath is good for his first attempt. DJ Heath will cash in on the two freebies. The lead is 15 to 7. Officials wave off the basket attempt. They'll call a bat, they'll call a foul on the floor. It'll, it should go on Jeremy Hamilton. And it does. Baseline jumper is on the money. Cameron Alford with the baseline jumper. Good kick out pass. Jeremy Hamilton, no good on his first three-pointer of the afternoon. He, he can make that attempt if you give it to him. Putting a move on. It's Tucker. He hands it off. Kick out jumper. Parham. No good. Fight for the loose rebound. And the Bulldogs save it. Baseline jumper. Well contested. Count the basket. And one. Brandon Houston. He drills the baseline jumper. And he will be at the free throw line for one more. Following the foul by Tyrese Robinson. And we'll have a timeout when we return. We'll have a free throw and an attempt to capitalize on a three-point opportunity. Alabama State leads the A&M Bulldogs 15-11. to Stay tuned for more. Nation, I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodson. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 
Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Welcome back to the Hornet Sports Network, where Alabama State currently has a 15-11 advantage over the Alabama A&M Bulldogs. For the Hornets, DJ Heath and Leon Daniels lead with five points apiece. For Alabama A&M, Cameron, <clears throat> excuse me, Cameron Tucker and Cameron Alfred lead the Bulldogs at four apiece. A look at some early numbers for both teams. Alabama State shooting 55% from the field. Alabama A&M shooting 45%. They have yet to make a free throw. Well, not a free throw. They've yet to make a three-pointer. They're 0 of 4 from the floor. Alabama State, however, has made two. DJ Heath is responsible for one of them, as you see him handed off to Jacoby Ross. Hamilton on the drive, gets tied up. 14 on the shot clock. Jacoby Ross kicks it out to Tyrese Robinson. Robinson will try a three. Can't get it to fall. The bank was almost open. Hornets still in the zone. Tyrese Robinson gives up the elbow jumper, and it gets cashed in. Cameron Alford, chalk him up for two more. Jacoby Ross, he'll try a three-pointer off the mark. Alford with the rebound. Officials will call that the offensive rebound. That one to go against Brandon Houston. Substitution into the game, number two, Kevin Holston. Checking into the game for the first time this afternoon, Kevin Holston. Holston has had a good run in the past few games as Alabama State looks to make this a season high five consecutive wins. They go down low to Robinson. Robinson didn't see the double team coming. He loses it, gets his pocket picked. And good hands to break up that pass break. Kivion Stewart with the deflection. It'll remain Bulldog basketball. Very contested shot, well off the mark. And A.J. Farrar. We'll clean up the miss. Kevin Holston. Jeremy Hamilton got caught, and he will be at the free throw line to shoot some free throws. Three of them. That foul call will go against Cameron Alfred. That'll be Alfred's second foul of the half with 10 minutes to go. Jeremy Hamilton is good on the first attempt. Jeremy Hamilton on the year, a 47% free throw shooter. Jeremy Hamilton 
converts on all three free throw attempts. So a successful outing for the Hornets has them up by six with 9.50 remaining. On the drive, Evan Wiley leaves it short and Alabama State will corral the miss. Kevin Holston swinging. Austin Rogers, who has checked in the game for the first time. Kevin Holston sees the attempt, and he cashes in on his first field goal of the game. A&M. Brandon Houston of Alabama A&M is going to get called for the foul. So they'll turn it over. Alabama State has led the entire contest. The largest lead has been nine. Back during the 12th minute of the first half where they led 16 to seven. Holston on the drive. Make it two for two. Alabama State on a 7 nothing run. Good kick out to the corner. That three-pointer is off the mark. Brandon Miller, he can't stop this run. The lead has ballooned to 10. Can we make it 13? No, we cannot. Keep you on Stewart. No good on the three-pointer. Corner three-pointer by Evan Wiley. He cashes in. And that'll end a scoreless drought for Alabama AM that lasted longer than two minutes. Good pass by Kevin Holston. And Battle can't capitalize. Good kick out to the corner again. And count another three. That three-pointer by Garrett Hicks. So make it back-to-back -back three pointers for Alabama for Alabama AM. A quick six-nothing run. Hamilton, he'll try, he'll try his luck. And no good. Excuse me. That was Stewart with the attempt, also with the steal. Jacoby Ross turns it right back over. Count the basket and one on a very tough conversion. Austin Rogers is going to get called on that foul. As you see the tough conversion. We'll have a timeout. When we return, we'll have an and one opportunity. Garrett Hicks will be at the line to shoot one. Nation, I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Welcome back to the Don Oliver Acadome, where Alabama A&M has gone on a 6 nothing scoring run, make it an 8 nothing scoring run, following an and one opportunity. Garen Hicks 
will have an opportunity to convert for three. Austin Rogers got called for the foul on the fast break. So it was back-to-back three-pointers for a and Then a steal and in transition, it led to the Garrett Hicks a layup. So at the line, Garrett Hicks, a six-foot freshman coming out of Madison, Alabama. And he converts on the attempt. Hicks on the season averages 10 points a game. Pretty good at the free throw line at 79% on this season. Holston kicks it out. Austin Rogers will try a three. He's off the mark. Offensive rebound, Alabama State. No good on the putback. And A&M will come away with it. So Alabama State scoreless. The past two minutes of competition. No call on the back down. And E.J. Williams will convert on the easy layup. As you see him rock the baby a little bit on the unnecessary celebration. He didn't earn that one. It was a little bit of a flop. I'll give him that. As you see him rock the baby, he didn't deserve that. (laughs) Austin Rogers with the handoff, and they'll give it back to Holston at the top of the key. On the pick and roll. Ricardo Day off the screen. Drives to the baskets. They'll call a blocking foul. Alabama State in the bonus. So Ricardo Day will be at the free throw line to shoot some free throws. That foul call will go against T.J. Parham. Tyrese Robinson is getting set to check back into the game. It'll be a one and one for Ricardo Day. Day no good on the free throw. And Parham will collect the rebound. Alabama State trapping. They advance. And they'll slow it down. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Pull up jumper too strong. That miss by Garrett Hicks. Garrett Hicks. DJ Heath kicks it out today. And there'll be a foul on T.J. Parham. It'll be another one-and-one opportunity. Ricardo Day will have an opportunity to clean up his first miss. Day no good on the first attempt. Brief update on the shooting numbers for both teams. AM has re- has brought some life into their shooting percentage. They're shooting 10 of 20 from the field, good for 50%. Alabama State, however, shooting in the low, in the high 30s, I should say. They're shooting 39%, 7 to 18 from the floor. Alabama State continuing to trap. And in no time at all, this game has been tied up. AM swinging. 12 on the shot clock. Hicks. He'll get the screen from Williams. Five on the shot clock. He kicks it out. Pull-up jumper off the mark. And Austin Rogers will corral the miss. 
Cameron Tucker could get that shot to fall. They give it down low to Robinson. Robinson sizes up, and he couldn't get the bank shot to, to drop. Garrett Hicks will try a three off the mark. Ricardo Day on the rebound. Loses the handle and gets his shot pinned. A little out of control. Four on five basketball right now for AM. And he'll get straight to the cup. Hicks will. Doesn't get it to fall, but he'll be at the line to shoot two. DJ Heath will pick up that foul call. AJ Farrar and Brandon Battle will check into the game for the Hornets. Hicks converts on both free throws. And Alabama AM has their first lead of the afternoon. Four minutes remaining in this first half. Alabama State, Alabama State led majority of the way. The last field goal from Alabama State came from Kevin Holston with eight minutes remaining. So it's been a bit of a drought. DJ Heath looks to end it, and he cannot. a and corrals the miss in transition. Tucker gets it stripped. Wild shot is up and no good. Johnson no good. But Jacoby Ross will get called for the travel. And we'll have a timeout on the floor. When we return, we'll have the end of the first half. Alabama A&M leading the Hornets 26-24. to Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas, Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. Welcome back to the Don Oliver Academy. You're listening to the Hornet Sports Network. My name is Daquan Lee, and currently your Alabama State Hornets trail the AMM Bulldogs 26 to 24. Looking at some scoring numbers for both teams, Garrett Hicks leads all scores offensively with eight points. He's two of five from the field, good for one three pointer and three makes at the charity strike. For Alabama State, Leon Daniels and DJ Heath are the leading scorers. They have five apiece. But currently, Alabama State finds himself in a bit of a scoring drought. They've been held scoreless almost two minutes of action, and Alabama A&M is making them pay. They're currently on a 13-3 run, and it's banded almost five minutes. Alabama State has just hit one of the last nine field goal attempts and one of nine from three-pointer as well. That last bucket, the last field goal for Alabama State coming from Kevin Holston with almost nine minutes to go in the first half. It'll be a kick ball that went on Leon Daniels. Alabama State opting to play man. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. 
Alfred strong to the drive. He'll kick it out. Baseline jumper. That one is good. That basket by Jalen Johnson. Alabama A&M extends the lead to four points. Let's see if Alabama State can put an answer to it. And in a scoring drought, Jacoby Ross. Strong as a three-pointer, but an offensive rebound will give Alabama State a second opportunity. Heath to the basket, dump off pass. Count the basket and one. Brandon Battle strong to the basket. Credit DJ Heath with a pretty assist. Late whistle by the officials, as you see. DJ Heath dishes it off. And the finish. That'll end a scoring drought of almost three minutes for Alabama State. As Battle cannot convert on the end one. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this first half. Count the basket and one. The poster, good by Jalen Johnson. Brandon Battle will give that one right back. That foul call will go to him. It'll be his second foul of the afternoon. No good on the, on the free throw, but a missed time jump. Leads to the Cameron Tucker offensive rebound and put back. Alabama State looking for answers. Alabama State currently giving up a 17-3 run. It's lasted six minutes and 30 seconds. They go down low. A.J. Farrar kicks it out. Leon Daniels for three. No good. And Alabama State has lost their way offensively. And the Bulldogs spell blood in the water. They want to push this lead. It's the largest it's been. Standing at six. And we'll have a foul away from the ball. That foul call going to A.J. Farrar. We'll have a one and one at the free throw line. Tyrese Robinson. We'll check into the game. Brandon Battle will have a seat. A.J. Farrar corrals the miss following the miss. Heath, wild layup attempt off the mark. And Alfred will corral the miss. Wild layup attempt. And officials will call a whistle. A.J. Farrar will pick up back-to-back fouls. At the free throw line, it'll be Jalen Johnson. Johnson on the afternoon, two of three from the field. Good for four points. He did miss on both of his free throw attempts earlier. He does make his third attempt. Johnson on the season, averaging about four, five points. Three rebounds. Only four assists on the season. That second free throw attempt way off the mark. to be a foul call on the floor. Evan Wiley picks up a foul. And Alabama State in the bonus. Tyrese Robinson will be at the line. Robinson no good on the first free throw attempt. 
These are his first attempts of the afternoon. On the season, Tyrese Robinson, it's not a strong shoot, not a strong suit. Shooting 33% from the foul line this season. Robinson, 0 for 2 at the line this trip. The Alabama State deficit remains at 8. Tucker with eight on the shot clock. He puts a move on Heath. Spin move. Dumps it down low to Williams. Williams strong down low, and he converts. E.J. Williams, 6'10 center, puts it up and in. And we'll have a timeout. Alabama State, he wants to close this first half on a good note. This lead has ballooned to 10, and head coach Lewis Jackson wants to talk it over. Stay tuned. Nation. I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Welcome back to the Hornet Sports Network. Alabama State currently going through a rough shooting stretch. They're shooting 32% from the floor, and Alabama A&M keeps on with the hot shooting. They're 14 of 28 from the floor, good for 50%. And they've gone on a massive run that sees them with the largest lead of the afternoon. It stands at 10, and Alabama State is looking for answers. We're coming up on the end of the first half, 45 seconds remaining. And 18 on the shot clock for your Hornets. Heath off the screen from Robinson. They kick it out. Leon Daniels strong to the basket. Pass is strong, and there's a foul on the floor. Tyrese Robinson, the recipient of that foul, he will be at the line to shoot a pair. In his earlier attempt, Robinson was 0 for 2. He drills the first. That ends a 7-0 run by Alabama A&M. And the run currently stretches 22 to 6. Cameron Tucker has had the hot hand. He's made three of his last four field goal attempts. Alabama State, on the other hand, one of 12 in their last 12 attempts. Game clock and shot clock are virtually in sync. Alabama A&M should hold for the last attempt. A&M swinging. They leave a wide open three-pointer. And Brandon Miller can't make him pray. Offensive rebound, and we get a steal by Leon Daniels. One second to go. He gets it off in time, and he ends the first half on a great note. Leon Daniels closes the first half, and Alabama State will go into the locker room with a five-point deficit. Alabama A&M leads your Hornets 35-30. to Your leading scorer. Your leading scorer for the Hornets, Leon Daniels. He has seven points to lead the Hornets. Garrett Hicks, he leads Alabama A&M with eight points. And when we return, we'll have the second half and Alabama State looks to find its rhythm. They shot just a staggering 32% from the floor. Alabama A&M red hot from the floor themselves. They shot 48%. Stay tuned for the second half and we'll return from the Hornets Sports Network. Nation. I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. 
We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Nation. I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas. Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. 
stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodson. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 
Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournaments will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas. Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournaments will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Welcome back to the second half here at the Don Oliver Academy. You're tuned into the Hornet Sports Network. My name is Quan Lee, and currently Alabama State faces the, faces a five point deficit to the Alabama and and Bulldogs. Some things to make note of in the first half: Alabama shooting, Alabama sh shooting woes, I should say, for the first half. A three-point shooting for Alabama State, not good. Standing at 16% thus far. Alabama A&M shooting a touch better at 22%. The rebounding margin also going slightly in favor of Alabama A&M. But the number that sticks out the most thus far in this game is the, the assist numbers. Alabama State has just one assist in this ball game compared to the nine assists for Alabama A&M. So that means the ball has been swinging prof profusely for the Bulldogs, and they've taken advantage of the opportunity when it arrives. As you can see, Alabama, shoot, Alabama State shooting just 32% from the floor, and Alabama A&M shooting almost 50% in that first half, and that is also a product of the ball movement that they've had. Now, of course, Alabama State, they have they've been in control for the most part. There hasn't been a lot of turnovers. The live ball turnovers that they've had in this ball game 
haven't necessarily hurt them because Alabama A&M at times has gotten sloppy with it. As we begin the second half, it'll be Alabama, Alabama A&M ball. The biggest lead for the Bulldogs was 10. Alabama closed the first half with a breakaway layup by Leon Daniels as the shot as the game clock expired. We are officially underway here in the second half. The crowd is alive and well at the Dome Oliver Academy. Officials wanted to get the time issue situated before we officially get it underway. Tucker swinging. They're known to go down low sometimes to Williams if he has good post position. This time, Williams comes for the screen. Ten seconds on the shot clock. They do give it down to Williams. Dangerous pass intercepted. And the Bulldogs start the second half with a turnover. Ricardo Day has it stripped. Officials rule it Hornet basketball. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time. They give it to Leon Daniels. Straight off the inbound. The jumper, no good. Williams with the rebound and the leak out. And an easy two. That basket by Alfred. He now has eight points on the afternoon, four of nine shooting. He also has five rebounds and an assist, as well as a steal. Toby Wusho, who was quiet in that first half. Oh, late whistle, but they call it an offensive foul on Toby Wusho. He didn't play too much time in that first half. He was played by foul trouble. Picked up two early fouls. Oh, a mean flop there. And that'll hurt Alabama State as Toby Wusho leads the lead. He leads the Hornets in scoring at over 14 points a game, and he's only played four minutes in this game. All that being said, for Alabama State to only find themselves down five is a good sign. Wusho is effective on both ends of the floor, and he certainly has offensive capabilities to turn this game around. Nation. I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Welcome back to the second half here at the Don Oliver Academy. There's only been one bucket scored to begin this first half, and it was a breakaway layup that won by Cameron Alfred after the E.J. Williams leak out and outlet pass. Alabama A&M currently has a seven-point advantage against the Hornets, and Toby Awusho just picked up his third foul on the afternoon off a vicious flop. Coming out of the media review, I believe it will be Alabama State basketball. Lewis Jackson, the head coach for Alabama State, pleading his case. Official signaling the direction and the perspective that they see it as. I stand corrected. It will be a foul on Toby Awusho. And the Bulldogs will maintain possession. Hornets applying full pressure, and DJ Heath gets called for being a little too aggressive off the ball. That'll be his second foul.
And yet again, we have another foul call. They call it a blocking foul on the floor. DJ Heath picks up consecutive fouls. Hornets have yet to score in this second half. They want to get it down low to Williams. Instead, they get a three-point attempt. Short, but an offensive rebound. They give it to Williams. Williams has his pass. Almost picked off. Heath couldn't corral it. It'll stay Bulldog ball with 16 remaining on the shot clock. Miller on the inbounds. Williams sets a brick wall as a screen. They find Williams down low, and he gets mauled. So Alabama State giving away three fouls and one single possession by Alabama a and It'll have them shooting a parade of free throws later on if they keep up. Ricardo Day is going to pick up the foul call there. That's his first foul. E.J. Williams on the season, a 51% free throw shooter, as you see him miss that first. On the year, he averages just about six points a game at 5.8. Over for 2 at the line, and Toby Wusho will come away with the rebound. So another slow start offensively for Alabama State here in the second half, and it's been the key issue for them. Awusho on the turnaround, draws the foul. The bucket won't go, but he'll be at the charity stripe. Foul on Alabama A&M, number 24. Two shots. Shooting free throws, number five. That foul call will go on Evan Wiley. Awusho on the season, a 75% free throw shooter. Cashes in on the first. Now, Awusho only played four minutes in that first half, as I mentioned earlier. Got hit with early fouls. And it forced Lewis Jackson to save his top score for the second half. But with plenty of time remaining, he feels as though he can still have a strong impact on this game. Those are just his first attempts and first points of this game. Tucker. They want to give it to Williams. Five on the shot clock. Miller. He's going to have to go for a tough shot. Draws iron. And a good defensive stop by Alabama State. Brandon Miller is going to pick up the foul on the reach in. Alabama A&M has been held scoreless almost two minutes in this ballgame. Alabama State on the other end. One of four in their last in their last four attempts. Heath finds Day in the corner. Reverse layup blocked by Williams. Met him at the rim. Tucker kicks it out. Open three pointer. No good. And AJ Williams is going to get called. It'll be his second foul, E.J. Williams. Cameron Alford will check in for A&M. A 
Leon Daniels will try a three-pointer. He cashes it in. That's Leon Daniels' second three-pointer of the evening. He has 10 points, and he leads the Hornets. And the referees, I believe, call a foul on the floor. It'll remain Alabama State basketball. Checking in for Alabama A&M, T.J. Parham. That corner three-pointer off the mark, but another offensive rebound by Leon Daniels. Lead to the kick out, and Toby Wusho will rattle in the three-pointer. Alabama State has regained this lead. They're up 38-37. Dangerous passes by Alabama A&M. Crowd starting to come alive following that three-pointer. Toby Wusho making his impact felt. Williams, they bring the double team. Pass is deflected, and we have a Bulldogs live ball turnover. DJ Heath leading the pack. Dumps it off, Leon Daniels. He'll cash in for two. Alabama State has gone on a 12-2 run. That spans the past five minutes. Pass almost intercepted. Bulldogs may be feeling the pressure. They want to give it down low. They feed it to Williams. Williams moving fast. And he gets the soft touch to fall. That'll end a scoreless drought of almost four minutes for the Bulldogs. Alabama State finding its rhythm on offense. We'll be back on the Hornet Sports Network. Stay tuned. Nation, I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Nation. I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Welcome back to the Hornet Sports Network. It's Champions Night at the Don Oliver Academy, and Alabama State is playing like some champions with their offense. They're currently on a 10-2 run that spans almost four minutes. They've hit three of their last four, and Alabama A&M is looking for answers. Cameron Tucker, he's found his rhythm offensively, but the team as a whole has struggled. Alabama State has regained this lead, and it's coming off the Leon Daniels layup. He leads all scorers with 12. He's shot five of seven from the field and two of three from deep. He also has two steals to go along with his five rebounds and his assist. Alabama State only had one assist at the end of the first half. Now they have four. DJ Heath, he has three of them. There's a foul on the floor. Cameron Alford picks up a foul. And we'll take a timeout on the floor. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas, students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship, 
Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. Welcome back to the second half of the Dome over Akadome. 15 minutes remaining. As you see the spirit of competition between the Alabama State cheerleaders and the Alabama A&M cheerleaders. A little bit of fun activity going on. This is, of course, one of the bigger in-state rivals. Both teams part of the SWAT conference. Leon Daniels making a big mark on this ball game. He has 12 points, 5 of 7 shooting from the field, two three-pointers, five rebounds, an assist, and two steals. He hasn't gotten much help from anybody else offensively. Toby Owusho has been quiet all night. He only has two attempts. Leon Daniels being aggressive, draws the foul. That foul call will go against Garrett Hicks. Garrett Hicks had the hot hand in the first half. He had eight points. He also made a three-pointer and knocked down three free throws. And Daniels is staying aggressive, making sure this game doesn't get away from him. He drills the first. Daniels in his last game against Alabama A&M. He scored 13. Toby Awusho led the team that game with 14. He shot 4 of 11. Didn't make a three-pointer, but he had five of his points coming from the free throw line. He also had four rebounds and three assists and two steals in that effort that game coming January 18th. That ball deflected, and Alabama State forces another turnover. Good hands a good hustle by the Hornets. Ricardo Day kicks it out. Leon, DJ Heath for three. No good. Fight for the loose ball, and they'll call it jump ball. Alabama State possession. Eighteen on the shot clock. Leon Daniels wide open for three. Way too strong. But off offensive rebound by Alabama State. Gives it back to Daniels. Daniels with the pass. And there'll be a foul on the attempt. Brandon Houston doesn't like the call. He thought he had his hand straight up. Officials say otherwise. And we'll have a pair of free throws. I uh, might have pleaded this. He might have a point, but uh, I can see both sides. Regardless, Dakota Day will be at the line to shoot some free throws. Swishes through the first. <laughs> Alabama State had the largest lead of the afternoon when they led 23 to 13 back in the first half, around the eight minute mark. Day splits the pair of free throws. The lead will be at four as we approach the 14 minute mark. A&M trying to get it down low. Good ball to Nile by Alabama State. Three seconds on the shot clock. They'll have to hoist up a three and a very fortunate bounce. That three ball by Cameron Alfred. That's his first three-pointer. And Alabama State turns it over. Ricardo Day loose with the rock. Houston, he'll get called for the travel. And the Bulldogs will give it right back. A 
last-ditch effort attempt. But a fortunate bounce. DJ Heath directing the traffic for Alabama State. Heath probing. Leon Daniels, spin move. And Daniels will draw the foul. That call against number 13, Cameron Alford. Alabama State in the bonus. So Leon Daniels will be at the line for a one and one. Daniels splits the pair. One is clinging to a two-point lead in the second half here. Williams took a shot to the face, and officials going to blow the wait list, the late whistle. Let's see if he took that shot. Yeah, it took a little blow. It took a little blow. Officials going to look it over. We'll take a short break after, as the officials review. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States and Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas, Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. Welcome back to the Hornet Sports Network. Officials wrapping up the review of the previous foul call. I believe they have a final solution. EJ Williams claiming he took a blow to the face. Officials want to see if he's crying wolf or if he has a legit claim. It should be Alabama A&M basketball after the review. As the Bulldogs get ready to inbound, Let's take a look at some of the updated numbers for both teams. Alabama State has brought their shooting percentage up to about 35%. Remember before the half, they were down in the high 20s. Alabama A&M still shooting pretty strong at 48%. 16 seconds on the shot clock. The rebounding advantage split down the middle as you see the turnover. That pass off the mark by Garrett Hicks. Heath directing a little bit of traffic. The turnover margin sits in Alabama State's favor. A&M has turned it over 12 times. Alabama State just eight. As you see the baseline shot off the mark by Toby Awusho. A&M wanted to push the tempo set. Instead, they get a drive to the basket. That layup off the mark, and 
Wusho cleans it up. Heath to a Wusho, strong to the basket, and they're going to call an offensive foul. That's a very big call here in this game with over 12 minutes remaining. That's Toby Wusho's fourth foul of the ball game. If I'm head coach Lewis Jackson, you might have to pull Toby Awusho. You cannot afford to lose him in this ball game. Even with four fouls, he's still your team's leading scorer. You want him in the last in the last five minutes or so of this ball game. That shot attempt off the mark. Leon Daniels, the alley oop. Bad pass, and the connection leads to the Alabama State turnover. Had a little too much dip on his chip. Corner three-pointer off the mark. So that turnover leads to a big three-pointer by Garrett Hicks. AM regains the lead. Heath, wide open lane, pass is deflected. And we'll have a timeout on the floor. Stay tuned until this hotly con contested affair at on the campus of Alabama State University. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas, Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. Welcome back to the Hornet Sports Network. Alabama A&M has just retaken the lead. They're currently on a 6-1 run that has spanned almost three minutes. Alabama State, on the other hand, scoreless the past two minutes of competition. They're going on one of their little shooting slumps, and they've only hit one of their last four attempts from the field. DJ Williams. Been the big man on the floor. He's three or three from the field. And when he's had the opportunity, he's taken it. He scored. Coming out of the media timeout, it'll be Alabama State basketball. 11.33 remaining in this ball game. The largest lead of the afternoon for Alabama State was 10 as the Leon Daniels jumper is off the mark. Leon Daniels is going to pick up the foul call on the reach in on the loose ball. It'll be his first foul. On the drive, Tucker. Gets his shot blocked, but the referees will call it a foul. And Tucker took a hard tumble to the deck. A.J. Farrar will pick up that foul call. And Cameron Tucker will be at the line to shoot a pair. Tucker on the season, an 83% free throw shooter. These will be his first attempts from the line. Tucker's done a little bit of everything in this ball game. He's three or four from the field, six points, five rebounds, four assists to lead the Bulldogs. He also has a steal. No good on the first attempt, though. Brandon Powell has checked in for the Bulldogs. Oh 
Hornets have the opportunity to tie or take the lead. A foul away from the ball. That one will go on number 12, Brandon Powell. Alabama State in the bonus, so it'll be a one and one opportunity. Leon Daniels at the line. Leon Daniels has had the hot hand in this ball game. He leads all scorers with 15. Five of nine from the field, two for four from the free throw line as he cannot make the first free throw. He also has six rebounds and two steals to go along with his hard work on offense. Now remember, Tobio Wusho leads the Hornets in scoring. He only has 11 minutes of play in this competition. He's been playing with foul trouble. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Tucker kicks it out. Three-point opportunity. No good on the floor, but it will remain Alabama A&M basketball. A foul on the rebound, as you see the miss there. Tyrese Robinson will pick up the foul. That'll be a one-and-one -one opportunity for Evan Wiley. Wiley no good on the free throw. Daniels posting up Robinson. Robinson has a smaller man on him. He's going to go to work. It'll be a foul before the shots. Wiley will pick, will pick up that foul. foul on Alabama, number 24, Evan Wiley. One one. Since the foul came before the attempts, Tyrese Robinson will be at the line. For a one and one. Tyrese Robinson has had four attempts from the charity stripe in this ball game. He's Missed two and made two. No good on the attempt. And the Bulldogs will clean it up. They still maintain the two-point lead. Coming up on ten minutes in the halfway point of this ball game. The leading scorers for the Bulldogs, Cameron Alford and Garrett Hicks. We'll have another three-pointer. That shot off the mark. It will remain Bulldog basketball. Alabama State struggling to find points, really, at this point. At this juncture of the ball game, Alabama A&M is on a 7-1 to run. Alabama State has been held scoreless the past three minutes. Strong on the drive. No good on the layup by Cameron Alford. Another foul away from the ball. And DJ Heath will be at the line to shoot two free throws. He will have an attempt to tie this ball game. That ends the scoring drought of about four minutes for Alabama State. Alabama A&M also on a scoring drought. They've gone almost two minutes without a bucket. The last field goal made for Alabama State came from the Leon Daniels layup at about the 15-minute mark of this ball game, Well, of the second half, really. E.J. Williams is checking in for... Alabama A&M. Cameron Alford will have a seat. Defense! 
Okay, the refs are getting a little ticky-tacky on the whistles. Cameron Tucker will draw the foul. Jacoby Ross will get called for that foul. A one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Tucker. Tucker shot well in this afternoon game. He leads the Bulldogs in assists. He has four. He misses on the free throw. And Leon Daniels will probably get the credit for that rebound. Heath probing. Takes it off to Jacoby Ross. And Heath is going to get called for the illegal screen. Try to seal off the man so that the handoff would be a little more lucrative. That'll be his fourth foul of the contest, so now he has to play with four fouls. Lewis Jackson doesn't want to take a chance, so he'll make the call and put Kevin Holston in the game. Holston hasn't seen a lot of playing time, just four minutes in this contest. Tucker. Thought about the three. He'll size up A.J. Farrar. He's got a size advantage. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Tucker kicks it out. On the drive. The handoff is lost. And Tucker, no good at the three-pointer. Loose ball. And it will be Alabama State basketball. Excuse me. The officials change that. It'll be A&M basketball. On the replay, it's hard to see. I couldn't call it. I wouldn't want to be the I wouldn't want to be the official on that instance. It's a hard call to make. Especially at full game speed. Tucker, eight on the shot clock. Driving to the basket. The layup. Halfway down and it goes out. Officials say Alabama State touched it last. They'll have a third opportunity. A&M shooting 41%. As they get ready to enter the stretch run of this competition. It's been tightly contested throughout. Both the men and the women have had highly contested games. Baseline jumper, no good. Tyrese Robinson couldn't corral it. And Tyrese will commit the foul as Jalen Johnson will be at the line. Brandon Powell's checking in for the Bulldogs. And Johnson converts on both free throws. So AM head coach Dylan Howard is going to have to talk about some rotations because he has some players in foul trouble. Evan Wiley has four fouls, as does, as does Cameron Alford, who leads the, lead, leads the team in scoring at 11. But we'll have a timeout on the floor. When we return, it'll be Alabama State basketball. Black Nation, I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 
Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournaments will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas. Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted. Welcome back to the Don Oliver Academy. You're listening to the Hornet Sports Network. My name is Daquan Lee. And Leon Daniels has given the Hornets... an opportunity to uh, take the lead. Well, tie the ball game if he makes a second free throw. That free throw ended a scoring job of about two minutes for Alabama State, even though he can't make the second and tie the ball game. Alabama State applying more pressure. A good contest by Brandon Battle. But the basket is good. That one by Cameron Alford. He's playing with four fouls, so Alabama State should look to go at him offensively. Sort of force the issue. Alford does lead the Bulldogs in scoring with 13. Battle did have a good handle on the ball, and he couldn't convert the layup. And A&M holding on to a three-point lead. Alabama State hasn't gotten a field goal to drop since the 15-minute mark of this competition. Tucker no good. The putback also no good, and Leon Daniels comes away with the loose ball. A.J. Farrar no good. Good hustle, though, on the offensive rebound. And we'll have some free throws coming up for Brandon Bidle for the tough effort. Jalen Johnson is going to pick up the foul call on that one. It's been a rough outing for Brandon Battle, though. He's one of five, good for three points. These will be his fourth and fifth attempts. However, what Brandon Battle hasn't given on offense, he's been stout on defense. Eight rebounds, two steals, two blocks. So as Toby Owusho checks in for A.J. Farrar, you can expect him to be aggressive on the offensive end, but not too aggressive. He has four fouls, and that's something I'm sure head coach Lewis Jackson has stressed to Owusho. A&M probing, kicks it out. They don't take the three-pointer. They're still working with 14 on the shot clock, so plenty of time. Tucker wants the screen. Kicks it out to the corner. Thought about the three-pointer. Four seconds on the shot clock. They go down low. And the tough layup is up and in. That one by Jalen Johnson down low. Holston, who hasn't seen a lot of playing time. Kicks it across court. Jacoby Ross contests a three-pointer. A bit too strong. One and done on the offensive end for Alabama State. Cameron Alford corrals his seventh rebound after that one. Defense! 
and m moving at a slower pace. Good deflection by Kevin Holson. And the foul for the loose ball. And it's up in the hands of Jacoby Ross. Ross gives it to Daniels. Daniels couldn't quite control it, but they'll take it out and reset. Holston working with 15 on the shot clock. Gives it to a Wu Show. And a Wu Show will be at the line to shoot free throws. Wusho only has one made field goal for the game, but he has done a little bit of damage from the stripe. This is his third free throw attempt, and it's good. He was two for two from the line earlier. Check again for the Bulldogs, number two, Brandon Miller, and number 15, E.J. Williams. Williams, a big body down low. He's, he has a miss from the floor. Does have four rebounds. Agusho good for both free throws. He now has seven points. Leon Daniels continues to lead the Hornets in scoring. He has 16. Offensive foul. That one on the drive. Good stand by Leon Daniels. Ooh, that's a tough call. His feet weren't really set, but a little home cooked cooking. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Hey, you know what? I'll consider that a makeup call for that basket that counted when the shot clock had expired. So you can't get everything right. Officials maybe want to discuss something. And on that charge, T.J. Parham has fouled out of this ball game. Yeah, that, that's unfortunate. That's a missed call. Substitution into the game, number 24, Evan Wiley. Evan, Evan Wiley will check back in. But, of course, he's also playing with four fouls. So, head coach Dylan Howard Stretching his rotations a little thin. Five minutes remaining in this ball game. Dangerous pass. Almost intercepted. Cameron Alford couldn't quite corral it. With 21 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Holston probing. Left handed layup too strong. And it'll be an over the back call against Brandon Battle. So, with both teams being in the bonus, the Bulldogs will have an opportunity to extend this ball game or we'll extend this lead. AM has been held scoreless. About past two minutes. So this will be an opportunity to end it. That free throw off the mark. Much to the crowd's delight. So 0 for 2 from the free throw line. It remains a one possession ball game, two point lead in favor of Alabama A&M. Leon Daniels strong to the rim, but he kicks it out. Foul on Alabama A&M number 13. 
And Cameron Alfred has just fouled out for Alabama A&M. He was their leading scorer. He had 13 points on the afternoon, and he will check out for the final time, shooting 6 of 14 from the field. He made a three-pointer and had nine rebounds that led the team. Bulldogs going deep into the going deep into the reserves, and Leon Daniels will be at the foul line. Daniels will have an opportunity to tie it following this one as we come down during the stretch run of this ball game. It's been tightly contested the whole way. However, Alabama State did have, oh my goodness, he misses the second. As he does, as Alabama State led by 10, the largest lead of the evening. Alabama State still showing a little bit of pressure. Chance from pressure. Chance coming from this crowd. It's a packed, it's a packed arena. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Crowd coming alive. Three-point attempt by Hicks off the mark. Kevin Holson comes away with the loose ball. Daniels to Ross in the corner. Ross on the drive, kicks it out. Uso, no good on the layup. And Tucker will come away with the rebound. Missed opportunity for Alabama State. Tucker probing, kicks it out. Three-point attempt. It's good. Big shot by Garrett Hicks. He has silenced this crowd, and he has extended this lead to four points following that three-pointer. So it's a two-possession ball game, and Toby Awusho answers. And we'll have a timeout on the floor. When we return, it'll be the dire moments of this ball game between two hotly contested foes who both want to walk out of this ball game with a win. Stay tuned. Black Nation, I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournaments will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Welcome back to the closing moments for the final three minutes. Here at the Dun Oliver Academy, Alabama State currently finds themselves trailing by a bucket. Toby Arusho knocking the lead down to two for Alabama AM. He's good for nine points on the evening. He's been quiet, he's been plagued with foul trouble. And he still plays with four. DJ Heath also playing with foul trouble, although he's not on the floor at the moment. Kevin Holston is in in his speed. Garrett Hicks before the Toby Owusu uh, layup. He knocked down a clutch three-pointer that gave him 14 points to lead the Bulldogs in scoring. The next leading scorer for Alabama A&M, it was Kevin Alford. Cameron Alford who filed out of the game. Alabama State still applying pressure. 18 on the shot clock. Alabama State trapping. Good hands by Kevin Holston. 
He forces a turnover, and it'll be a foul against the Bulldogs. Brandon Miller will pick up that foul. Crowd coming alive in support of their Alabama State Hornets. Awusho will be at the line. He's 4-4 on the evening. Crowd has gone silent. Awusho can't knock down the free throw. Personally, I think he would have preferred to hear the crowd. The silence made it a little too pressure packed, but he's still got one more to go. He misses both. So pressure mounting here for the Hornets as we come up on less than three minutes in this ball game. Alabama State led majority of the first half, but the Bulldogs found their rhythm late. And they ended the first half with a five-point lead. Now they look to close out this ball game. The walkway victorious. Five seconds on the shot clock. That three-pointer off the, off the mark. And Ibusho will come away with the loose ball. Ibusho on the move. Kicks it out. Kevin Holston on the drive. Pass picked off. Almost picked off, I should say. Jacoby Ross will check in for Kevin Holson. And Brandon Powell will also check in for the Bulldogs. It'll be Alabama State on the inbound. Daniels. And there will be a foul away from the basketball. Cameron Tucker will pick up that foul call. And we'll have some free throws coming up. Uwusho will be at the line. After hitting four for four, he missed his last two attempts. Garrett Hicks has checked in for the Bulldogs. Remember, he hit a big three-pointer, their last made field goal. Wusha's hey. got one more, and he drills it. So Pressure pack free throws for Toby Wusha, but he converts at the line. We're all knotted up at 55 apiece. We're coming up on two minutes remaining in this ball game. Tucker kicks it out. Miller off the screen. He'll kick it back out. Tucker on the drive. And Kevin Holson got a little too aggressive. A little ticky tacky, if you ask me, though. Both teams in the bonus, so we'll have some free throws. Cameron Tucker at the line. He has seven points. These are his first attempts. Excuse me, I lied. He, ha he has had three attempts, one of three from the line. And drills the first one. Tucker on the season. He is the Bulldogs' third leading scorer. He averages about seven points a game. Two for two, big free throws. Heath. He's back in the ball game. He's playing with four fouls, as is Toby Owusho. They clear out. 
kicks it out. Brandon Battle on the spin move. And Williams forces the miss. Tucker tries to give it down to Williams. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Tucker, strong move to the basket. And they call a foul on the floor. And DJ Heath has just fouled out of this ball game. Taking his spot to close out this game will be Kevin Holston. Big miss by Tucker. It remains a one possession basketball game. Both teams haven't been hot from three point land. Alabama State shooting just 22% from deep. AM, on the other hand, shooting 26%. Tucker makes it a three point lead. Head coach Lewis Jackson wants to talk it over, so we'll be back. back. Nation, I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournament will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Welcome back to the closing segments of this home game for Alabama State. They currently find themselves down three points coming up on a minute remaining. Holston on the drive. Lefty layup is good. Big basket by Kevin Holston. It makes it a one-point ball game. Coming on 45 seconds remaining in this ball game. This is a big possession for the Bulldogs. A three-pointer here will be big. A stop is crucial for Alabama State. Tucker kicks it out. Three-pointer, short. And it'll be a shot clock violation. I, I'm not sure. I thought it drew iron. It should have reset. Officials probably have to view this one. It definitely draws iron, so it's a clock operation error. Alabama A&M will have one more attempt. Chance of defense coming from the crowd. Five second difference between shot clock and game clock. Wild layup off the mark. Rebound, Brandon Battle. 12 seconds remaining in this ball game. Jacoby Ross has it. Jacoby strong to the rim. The layup is up and in. The Hornets have a one-point game coming into this ball. Seven seconds remaining in this ball game. And we're going to need a timeout to talk this one over. Alabama A&M has just given up a one-point advantage. Jacoby Ross has hit the biggest shot of this ball game. That's a strong move and finish by Jacoby Ross. He 
he has given the Hornets a one point advantage. The score is 59 to 58 with 7.3 remaining in this ball game. A&M, the Bulldogs, they have plenty of time to work with. Alabama State needs to stop in this critical junction of this ball game. Jacoby Ross up until that point, 0 for 3, but he may have hit the biggest shot of this game. The Hornets have one job, one opportunity. As they can see their in-state rivals home, sad, dismayed, leaving them 2-0 on the season. There are seven seconds left. It's a do-or-die situation for Alabama State. Can they make this five games in a row? It's already a season-high streak of four. Can they make it five? A&M will have possession. Seven seconds. Tucker takes it to the rim, loses the ball. Which way will the officials rule it? They want to review just to be sure. This is a critical junction of this ball game. A turnover will smell the end for the A&M Bulldogs. As we take a look at this replay. It looks like he dribbled off his own foot. It should be Alabama State basketball. Oh, that's absolutely off his own foot. Officials should rule this Alabama State basketball. And that'll be an end to what has been a tough fought night. We'll wait on the official word, but from our view, it looks like it should be Alabama State basketball. Officials also want to make sure there's enough time to accurately reflect. That's probably what they're mainly reviewing at this point, just to make sure there's, there's just the right amount of time. They don't want to cut anybody short, and they add a little bit of time. The official clock now stands at 2.9. Officials scooting Alabama State players out of the way as they do their diligence. Clearly from that angle, it looks as though Tucker dribbled the ball off his own foot. I don't see how they could come to any other conclusion aside from that. Officials have finished their conclusion. <laughs> Officials getting one last look. 
from the live replay. Officials rule out of a state basketball. And that will be the end of this ball game, given they don't turn it over. So, with the possession belonging to Alabama State, the only thing they have to do now is just get it in. After that, this game will be a wrap, and Alabama will come out 2-0 in conference against Alabama A&M. And they will extend this win streak to five games. Two point nine remaining in this ball game. Holston gets it in to Leon Daniels. And they foul immediately. So Leon Daniels at the line. He has a chance to extend this lead to either two or three. Obviously, making both free throws will force AM into a half court, a full court heave, rather. He drills the first. Big shot. Alabama AM wants to talk it over, and we'll be right back. Nation, I'm Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. We would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championship here in the Magic City. The 2020 Cricket Wireless SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships return to the Magic City on Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th. The tournaments will take place in downtown Birmingham at Bartow Arena. For more information, visit SWAC.org. It's SWAC time. Welcome back to the final mark of this second half. Alabama State finds himself up two with one Leon Daniels free throw away from sealing this victory. Or, at the very least, going to overtime off a prayer or a miracle of a heave. Daniels. He's, he's had 10 free throws in this game. He's hit, knocked down six of them, none being bigger than this. He has just forced Alabama AM into a three point heave. 
2.3 remaining in this ball game. We have Alabama State has just secured their win. They come away with a 61-58 win against the Alabama a and Bulldogs. It was a hard-fought victory the entire way. The biggest lead had been 10 points. Alabama a and even came back and led the way. Their biggest lead was nine. But in the end, the Hornets, they showed resilience. They fought and they scrapped. And they made their mark with key shots down the game. They ended this game on a 6-0 run. Kevin Holston, big down the stretch. He had a left-handed layup, cut the lead down to two. Leon Daniels and Jacoby Ross also pitching in with big shots down the stretch to give Alabama State this victory. We thank you for tuning in to the Hornet Sports Network. My name is Juan Lee, and you've been tuned in to what has been a very successful weekend. The start has only just begun. They have one more game coming up. The Hornets will play the Jaguars of Southern University. They play February 22nd. But until then, from, direct, from our athletic director, Jennifer Lynn Williams, my boss, Travis Jerome, thank you and good night. <laughs>